Did you hear that this week the Cambridge Dictionary announced an update to its definition of the word woman and man? How so? They want to include transgender. The longtime definition for the word woman, an adult female human being, is still there, but now there's an addition. An adult who lives and identifies as female, though they may have been said to have a different sex at birth. The definition includes two examples referencing transgender people. One reads, she was the first trans woman elected to a national office. In another example, the updated definition reads, Mary is a woman who was assigned male at birth. Similar updates apply for the entry to man. Now, here are some facts. People talk about transgender a lot in politics. How many are there? 1.6% of adults in America are transgender or non-binary. How about the young people? It's really their thing, right? 5% of young adults under 30 are trans or non-binary. This is according to Pew Research. This is a very small slice of us. So why such outsized outrage? Can't we just live and let live anymore? No, because you can't make me call you just because you want to be called that. Who's forcing you? But you're changing what science says. No. Well, you just changed the word woman. That's not the science. There are still entries for sex and gender, male and female. And they state the obvious. Male or female or intersex is what sex is. Gender is masculine, feminine or neuter. Feminine is, uh, you know, ascribing the qualities related to sex that can give birth to young or produce eggs. So what's changing? The answer is the range of identity, which is not about anatomy as much as it is emotional and psychological. And I get that you may not get why a dude feels like they're in the wrong body and are actually a woman and want to live that way. I get that you may not get it. It may not make sense. It doesn't have to for someone else to feel that way. So what is the beef here? Does having the word for woman or man include people who identify that way really change what the word means? And why must we use this as a political weapon? That's how I see it, a naked political party play to create a worse than for the right, to show the left is perverse and un-American. And that while the left may charge the right with ignoring science during the pandemic, the left is worse. The left wants us to change what science says about human beings. More proof to me, that the two-party system is at odds with unity and always has been and always will be. And if you're in a party, you should leave it. Now. Why? It forces opportunistic picking of sides. It just does. It's binary, it's zero sum by its nature, always has been. That's why people have always pushed against it. But I digress. On this issue, why isn't what we're all supposed to believe about America enough? Which is what? E pluribus unum. Says it on the coin of the realm, right? One out of many. Out of many, one. Why condemn such a small slice? especially when they're so disproportionately targeted and attacked. Ignorance and arrogance, that's why. Transgender should not be a political hot button. Too many of us have opinions that are not fueled by understanding. By feel is how we're going on this. And there's too much heat to ask the questions and concerns that may foster more understanding. So, had to make a decision here. I want to be part of the solution. I want to be part of us making things better. So tomorrow night, we're going to devote an entire show to a special report on transgender, specifically about how we help kids. We've got some prominent members of the trans community to discuss how treatment helps save lives, but also that some kids may be getting treatment and procedures too young. When is too young and in what circumstances? What does the research show? What do doctors who treat trans kids say? What do people who have lived it as parents and lived it themselves, what, what do they know? How can they help us understand? We have exclusive reports and follow-up discussion. Now look, it's just a first step. And yes, I think a lot of people will come at me heavy just for having the discussion, but I don't know how we get to a better place if we can't talk about things that are creating tension. So let's take the first step. Please take it with me. If you're going to get all red-faced about how a word is used, shouldn't you know why the term even matters to the people who want it changed? Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. 
Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.